Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. It's Friday, it's cocktail hour, and I'm excited to be here. Hopefully you are too. We are getting so close to um, the end of the month, and that means that I am just weeks away. End of the month. <laughs> That's just weeks away from my retirement, and so I am super excited. So we've been trying out a bunch of cocktails. This is the first or the fifth time? <laughs> the first time. We've been trying out a bunch you of... You are planning to. <laughs> we've been trying out a bunch of different cocktails because we're having a big party for my retirement, and we need to learn which might be easier cocktails to make than others. Old uh, fashioned's always yeah, easiest. Old fashioned. And everyone likes an old Very fashioned. Very popular. However, we like to make homemade old fashions, but in doing this research, I found a um, cocktail to go, basically. Wasn't that just right there at the register, and you're just like, yoink. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't... No, it was in, in our state, wasn't it? Was it, We bought this in Texas. Yeah. So, this Not is... locally. But. No. But you might get it locally. This is Bowls. Bowls. B-O-L-S. Um, cocktails. Very old-fashioned. Now, they had some other things. Like, huh? Yoga may have translated that. <laughs> they had some other things there as well. But I picked up this one. And it's six bucks. It makes two cocktails. Um, and you refrigerate it and then pour it over ice. And we've done several cocktails to go before, bottled cocktails. We've done bottled cocktails, mm -hmm. not cocktails to go. No, but we have done bottled cocktails and we've done the Keurig Irish coffee cocktails. Yeah, so. but that's also still not necessarily what this is. This is essentially you put it in your carry-on. Yeah. And you have it on the plane almost. Not quite, but... Ooh. I wonder if we could get away with that. No, it's not three ounces, is it? No. no. That one you want it, but you could do it on But it's some. 30%, six bucks, called balls, and we're going to give it a try and see what we think. Um, it says to uh, chill it, pour it, and add a um, orange zest. I don't have any oranges. I think I should have shaken it. Yeah. We'll find out. I don't know. Probably not. It did definitely got darker there. Maybe shake the last little bit. Here, close it, shake the last little bit. Vigorously and then pour it. Vigorously? Yes. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I can't help it. You're an adolescent. Oh, and like you don't do those jokes so, all the time. If you actually um, don't want. A lot of liquor in your room in your your house you know and you don't have the essentials to make old fashions but you bought a bunch of these and put them in the refrigerator that'd be kind of cool plus you can conveniently hide this in like say a map tube you're a weird guy <laughs> what why are you hiding it in a map tube maybe the missus doesn't like you drinking my missus or the mister <laughs> My miss is, is like... Okay, what yours is an enabler. I meant the people that need to hide it in a map tube. Okay. Maybe they're allowed a map room, and the Mr. or Mrs. doesn't allow them to drink, but they're like, this is all maps, but there's actually... So it smells or quite interesting. It smells like an old-fashioned. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, it smells like an old-fashioned. But not strong. No, it's kind not of... Not like, like you went to a bar and ordered an old-fashioned. If you went to a standard so, regular bar, yeah. this might be if you go to one where they take pride in their old fashions. No. Here is my problem with old fashions. And this would be an excellent topic for um, a podcast. Like when we sit down, because we're going to start doing a sit down podcast um, that'll probably be aired live. But so many times I've gone to a bar and ordered a drink. <laughs> And it's not what it's supposed to be because every oh, yeah. bar has a twist to it. Or, they're burning some time on it or they're using a different infused alcohol. Well, and we've seen at some places we go <laughs> to is that now, the bar place. manager or the owner has a little bit too much authority on the bar. Because we've talked to bartenders and they're like, this is the way the owner wants it. Yeah. And you're like, they'll even be like... Well, I'm every bar is trying to do way. their own little twist. Or they put too much authority in mm. a bartender who maybe hasn't tried much from it. This is not good. 
It's sour almost. It, it's not that it's not good. It's not. That's not an old fashioned. Yeah, it's not the problem that it's bad. It's just not good. And actually, it's, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would never order this. I to, would never order it. To me, it's got. You can taste the plastic. It it tastes almost sour, but you know it's not bad. But if it was any other type of thing that you knew it wasn't mm -hmm. protected by the thirty percent alcohol, you'd be like, "That's bad. Don't drink that." Yeah. But it's just it's it's almost like they put vermouth in their old fashioned. Yeah. It's only thirty percent. It has definitely got some issues to it. I think they may have put orange juice in it that then turned sour. It, it tastes to me... Because that's what it tastes like. Very tart <coughs> orange juice. Well, it tastes to me like we made an old-fashioned with that non-alcoholic uh, whiskey. <laughs> or bad orange juice. Alright, let's see if we can salvage this. We can. Oh. No, yeah. it's, it's like we made it with, like... A tart, tart, tart orange. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. It's like if we had taken an orange that's just not good that we never eat. Not necessarily rotted, just tart. Makes it better with the Angostura, but not drinkable. Still not drinkable. <laughs> All right, folks, um, I'm going to have to say thumbs down on the balls. Yeah, this isn't. It's not. Not good. Well, it does say very old. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> Sorry. Don't sue us. But it's not. Well, and... We it, have another one, so maybe we try it. Maybe that one's bad. I don't I know. will tell... It says the world's first cocktail brand, Bowls. Hmm. I will tell you... Is this you, from the first cocktails ever made 2,000, 4,000 years ago? Because uh -huh. <laughs> then it would explain the weird flavor. This Bowles cocktail is crafted with Bowles uh, Genevere Barrel Aged and Bowles Orange Carousel Liqueur. Carousel? Carousel Liqueur. So, no preservatives. Uh, so it says Genevere Barrel Aged. What is that? I mean, I would assume it's a whiskey, but, and then orange carousel, carousel, liqueur. It's Juni, whatever, barrel, aged whiskey. But it doesn't even say whiskey. It says Genevieve barrel aged. Gen Genever barrel aged. Huh. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Leave your comments below. Tell me if you've ever had a cocktail to go. That's what they're called. Cocktails to go. Uh, CTGs. Um, that you have enjoyed, especially if it's a whiskey cocktail to go. I've actually enjoyed in There's Europe, I've enjoyed the canned um, uh, gin tonics. Ooh. Oh, I can we see like, that going good. We like those. Most and of the ones we've tried here have always been... Good till we try the original, and then it's just right. subpar terrible. As far as like CT, a rock and rye, yeah, the rock and rye was fine. It was it fine until great. we made our own yeah. rock and rye, or we were yeah. But and we have your own. We also own have comparison. a um. I was gonna say Manhattan, but I think it's a, it's an old fashioned from uh, uh, Bay Harbor Distilleries. In Boston. I don't think it's an old fashioned. I think it's something to do with a rye too. Well, well, rolling look, Rock. No, it's not Rolling Rock. It's Bay Harbor from um, the rolling from rock Boston. Was the one that you thought it was. Mm -mm. So we'll look for it because it's on the shelf somewhere. It's also been on a previous cocktail episode. Yes, but Can tell us what you, you think. Us? Are there CTGs cocktails to go? Are there CTGs that you enjoy that you like? Which we very much want to know because we want to try them. Yeah. Because it would be very convenient just to pack a couple of these whenever we're mm -hmm. at the hotel after whatever travels we're doing. And we're like, I want a cocktail, but I don't want to pay $25 right. for one. I will tell just bring you, one with you that next week, or a whole bottle, 
Next week, we're going to do this old-fashioned cocktail kit. kit. This is not a CTG. No. This is a kit. You have to add your own al alcohol. So there are things out there, like a really big fad today is the mason jars. It's got all the freeze-dried fruits and stuff in there. For like and a soup? Basically. And all have you, you seen do, that one? Because yeah. I saw that. All you do is you add your alcohol and you let it um, sit for a couple hours and then you have your cocktail ready. Um, That's not a CTG either because you are you adding your alcohol. Yeah. That's They're what these are. So mix ready to go. Yeah. Not this is everything done. And it I'm not impressed. So tell us what you think. Is there one out there that you like? It smells okay, but um, it's terrible. So just let us know. Leave that in the comments below. We and do not he keeps drinking his. We do not it, but. um endorse the bowls. I'm sorry guys. We just don't. So bowls not this version yeah. anyways if right. they have a bottled version we'd be willing to try that because we have found bottled versions which it's right. you know mass produced and but, but in a bottle but it's okay, i'm saying but, balls yeah so balls if you're watching this or you get a hold this of this um try to change your mind okay because i i don't think this is a good thing for you i think this will probably affect your um it tastes like you use sour oranges yeah maybe they're just this one was bad. We have another one. We have another but, one. Yeah. I doubt we'll try it anytime soon. No. <laughs> we'll leave a pinned comment in a few years when we yeah. try it. Um, I just want to tell you one thing, but before I do, have a great weekend and just enjoy yourself. Come up with some great cocktails for you and your friends. Um, and then comment it so we can steal it. Yeah. Always leave those below. Well, we'll leave but, credit, but you know, we'll do an episode. We'll, we'll leave it at that, but I want to tell you that these things like this are what Cody uses to prank visitors to the bar. What do you mean? The non-alcohol whiskey. No, no, I wait till they're already in the, the bar. Yeah, he waits till they're in the bar and says, you have to try no, this. No, 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 no. <laughs> I look at these people, and they're usually like, you know, they've been around the block. They've tasted a lot of stuff, and I'm like, so do you want to try something terrible no. no i say that i make sure i'm clear and honest every time i'm like do you want to try something that'll ruin your night well i have the product for you i've seen him say hey you gotta try this it's terrible i always make sure i'm clear with that so then all right hit me we'll see you guys on monday bye i recommend some terrible stuff <laughs> <laughs>